All of this gloom and doom surrounding me began to abusive childhood. I endured a great deal of misery, and most of my life was unhappy and filled with disappointments. I began to live in vague fear and dread the future. This the, now he's doing a street person. <laughs> I had not been taught to let go of what was behind. I had to rejoice. And what I had now, and the good things that go on in my life, I focused on the past, and what my life had. What Larry had is usually gloom and doom and chaos, because that's what I was expecting. Satan built the stronghold in my mind. I was trapped until I learned to tear down that negative, evil stronghold. By applying God's word into life and circumstances. I once had a friend who called Marlene. She she lived in the state of constant chaos. One day she had health problems. The next day Marlene's son has lost his job. And they were going to live and have to support him and his fam. As soon as that was over, another traumatic sin. Sim, simitation, sim, sim, simitation situation would erupt. Marlene was over, but another traumatic simulation situation would erupt. Marlene was a Christian, but she lived in fear of bad news. Marlene would have not known how to live a life that was not filled with chaos. All of her conversation was negative and gloomy. Even her countenance was sad and gloomy. I realized that I had started something to become like Marlene. I was miserable because I had allowed Satan to rob me of my ability (laughs) to enjoy my life. It took a while before I was able to be positive and most of the time, but little by little, my thinking changed. And so did my life. I no longer live in evil forebodings. I expand. And so did my life. I no longer live in evil forebodings expecting to hear at any moment of of a new problem. Now I purposely expect good things to happen in my life. I realize now I can choose my thoughts. I do not have to accept Satan's lies. Like everyone else, negative things do happen to me from time to time. But I don't become those negative because of them. I remain positive and that helps me enjoy my life in the midst of the storms. Okay. Yay! Now you pray. Read the prayer to us because we have to say the prayer. Pray, boy! Do we have a translator? Dear Lord Jesus. <laughs> Dear, Lord Dear Lord Jesus. Jesus. Through so many days of my life. Through so many days of my life. I've been robbed of joy and contentment by evil. I've been robbed of joy and contentment by evil forebodings. Forebodings. As those feelings come to me, <laughs> please, remind me, please remind me. Please remind me. That you are in control. You're in control. control. Help me to rest in you and rejoice in your power and my life. Amen. Help me to rest in you and rejoice in your power in my life. Amen.